There is breaking news coming in. The Ministry of Defence has released the official version of the Park Terror Boat. The official video establishes the entire sequence of events. This is a Headlines Today exclusive. Watch these pictures. This is the official version of the entire incident. As promised by Defence Minister Manohar Parikar, the government had earlier claimed that details of the incident, if released, could jeopardize national security. But some of these pictures have now been released after DIG Loshali bragged that he had ordered the boat be shot down. Now, what we are being told, Defence Ministry sources have released the video. This is a Headlines Today exclusive video of that suspect Pakistani rogue boat. It set itself on fire. That is what the Defence Minister Manohar Parikar had claimed. And now that video, for the first time, you see that video on headlines today. The Coast Guard insists it did not fire directly at the boat. And there you see flames going up. Sudden, suddenly, there are flames that you see in that boat. Now, we spoke to top Coast Guard officials and they insisted that DIG Loshali was not in the loop. When it came to operational matters, he was Chief Chief of Staff of the Northwest region in Gujarat and Chief of Staff deals with staff matters and not operations. Headline today is Jugal Purohit now joins me with the latest. Jugal, you've accessed this video. Take us through the details. How does this buttress the Coast Guard case? Well, uh, Kaurav, this is a video which has been in the possession of uh, the Indian Coast Guard ship Raj Ratan, uh, which shot the crew of this boat, uh, this inshore patrol vessel, shot this video on the evening of 31st of December. In fact, the intervening night between 31st and 1st of January. Now, this video till now has been a very, very closely guarded secret insofar as the Coast Guard, the Defence Ministry is concerned. I recall, Gaurav, I was at Port Bandar and a special officer flew in from Gandhinagar just to access these videos and then take them back to the defense minister's office not a single copy was made that's the story behind this video and after this call this video was viewed extensively over and over again not just by the defense minister but by the intelligence agencies the ntro the ib the senior top brass of the government's national security setup it's only after that a careful examination has been done and now as you rightly pointed out with the dig opening up his mouth in an inadvertent fashion making the defense minister and the ministry extremely uh, uh, you know uncomfortable this release has happened the Indian Coast Guard's version is very clear God of they've been saying it since day one that we did not fire upon the boat the boat the personnel on board this Pakistani fishing boat came up assess the situation after a pursuit of almost an hour and a half on the Indian side of the international maritime boundary line and okay. then these personnel went below set the boat on fire explosions were heard and then it sank that's the story that has been going on this video of course released only to buttress that claim and also to uh, in a sense douse the flames set by DIG Loshali when he said that he ordered the Coast Guard personnel to blow the boat up to blow the boat up when it did not stop because he didn't want them to serve he didn't want to serve them biryani so this as I said is an extremely important piece of evidence a closely guarded secret which the defense minister had promised to release within four to five days after the incident but is coming about only and only after his own credibility his ministry's credibility was put to question remember not just the opposition but even ministers in Pakistan yes. raised questions over India after this comment by DIG Loshali was made public and that video was uploaded so this is in a sense you know much needed relief for the defense ministry which is trying to tell us that it did not do anything wrong Gaurav describe this video for our viewers Jugal as you can very clearly see this is that rogue Pakistani boat that suspect Pakistani boat now the story according to the Coast Guard is that they tracked this boat for several hours from the sky and from the sea this boat was ordered to stop it did not stop and then shots were fired across across the bow of this boat no shots were fired at this boat is that what the Coast Guard insists is the case, Jugal? 
Absolutely, Gaurav. There is no doubt about that. The Coast Guard's point of view and this re this video release is only meant to, you know, buttress and further, uh, you know, uh, try and douse the flame set set by DIG Loshali uh, because there is otherwise no reason for the Defence Ministry, which had in a sense become completely complacent, had forgotten that it had made a commitment to the public, to the media, everyone, that it will come clean. But it came clean only after it was further challenged and after its credibility was on the line. Also, Gaurav, a very important point of information coming in is that a board of inquiry has been ordered on the case of DIG BK Loshali, uh, the, the DIG because of whom we actually have all the evidence now in the public domain even though the DIG will be the fall guy in this case or so it seems. A board of inquiry has been ordered. He was asked to reply on a show cause notice within 48 hours and his reply was found to be unsatisfactory. That's what we are given to understand and thus a board of inquiry stands ordered against him. The procedure uh, in, in the military parlance is that a board of inquiry is then followed by a court of inquiry depending on the findings which then leads to a general court martial. So whether or not that happens is something that only future can tell us. But yes, for now, his reply found unsatisfactory and a board of inquiry has been ordered in addition to the facts that are now being put into public domain vis-a-vis -vis this video, which, as I said, has been a very, very closely guarded secret for the Defence Ministry, only released after its credibility was put into question. Back to you. OK, now we're looking at this video of 31st December late at night. For over 11 hours, a Coast Guard aircraft, a Dornier aircraft, tracks a boat. It's a suspect Pakistani vessel. It's carrying suspect cargo. That is the NTRO intelligence input. It is tracked for over 11 hours. And then a Coast Guard ship, Raj Ratan, it reaches this boat. It orders this boat to stop. The boat does not stop. On the contrary, it tries to escape in the opposite direction. Sea State 4, that is what sources in the Coast Guard have told headlines today. It was very choppy on 31st December night. Jugal, you spoke to officers who served on board this boat that night of 31st December. Take us through what these officials have said in their report to Government of India. Sea State 4, what happened then? Well, uh, you see, Gaurav, uh, this entire operation, which has been shrouded in mystery and controversy, has, as I said, been a very, very closely guarded secret in so far as the Defence Ministry is concerned. Now, speaking about the boat per se, uh, you see, what happens, Gaurav, is that the boat, the ship's report, is then further wetted by the Coast Guard headquarters, is subsequently wetted by the National Coast Guard headquarters and then given to the Defence Ministry. So now what we understand in this is that the Indian Coast Guard, which, mind you, was under uh, some sort of pressure because the Indian Navy also somewhere wanted to jut in, get a hold of these videos, get hold of the evidence, perhaps conducted its own parallel inquiry. Its Commodore was asked to get out of the area and not interfere. So the Coast Guard back then had made a commitment to the Defence Ministry that they will be submitting an official report towards the entire incident to the Defence okay. Minister. This report, as I am aware, uh, was submitted along with the CD of this of this video that we are now seeing uh, which on the 5th of January. 3rd of January is when this ship came in shore to Porbandar after these operations it was out for many days 5th of january is when the video or to the monday morning when the video was handed over to the defense ministry is the there defense audio on office, this video that can made. say that can indicate whether there were shots fired or not well, Gaurav, uh, you see this video was shot from the Coast Guard ship Raj Ratan. The distance between Raj Ratan and this rogue Pakistani boat or so-called rogue Pakistani boat was well over a kilometer. That's what we are given to understand by the members of the Raj Ratan who we spoke to and of course who will remain unnamed for now. Stay These with members me for a moment, Jugal. I also want choppy. to bring there in no Major General Ashok Mehta is a strategic affairs expert. General Mehta, the Coast Guard has finally released video footage of that suspect Pakistani boat up in flames. What do you make of it, sir? Well, I think uh, there is more to it than meets the eye because uh, it is the same Coast Guard where we had the DIG say that uh, that he, the, the Coast Guard shot, uh, destroyed the ship and we he, at the very initial stages when this boat was trapped and this whole boat affair came up 
there were reports from within the navy and from naval experts that this could have been uh, a, a a shot that was fired from uh, the coast guard ship now the coast guard commander has denied it Ge uh, general that's point 1 point 2 you've served in the armed forces the coast guard the officer uh, who's bragged was chief of staff coast guard insists he's not an operations man he could no way in no way order a boat being blown up what do you make of no, that no, no i i i cannot make anything out of that i uh, i think this whole thing is very murky and uh, to put out a video like this anybody can put out a video what what is so special about this video first question do staff stream people order operations general no no it's not staff stream there is something that is known as as information after all he is working in the same organization don't forget is and and these kind of um, this kind of information you don't have to be in the chain of command to get to know this and in any case no no but you have to be in the chain of command to order a boat being blown up his comment was i ordered the boat being blown up can the chief of staff well, order well, a boat I, being blown up well i as i'm saying it's 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 early yet to draw any conclusion you remember we do uh, when this incident took place all of us instantly and immediately drew, drew the conclusion jump to some conclusion i would say pending a proper inquiry the government of india has not carried out a proper inquiry of this incident and it it is it is time that this inquiry is carried out i am not uh, uh, suggesting that this could not happen or this has not happened i am suggesting the whole affair is very murky and uh, and and i'm not saying it naval officers are saying it okay stay with me general i also want to bring in my colleague preeti choudhary for more on this preeti you've been looking at this footage very clearly two points is there audio on this footage that could indicate whether shots were fired or whether the boat caught fire on its own you know and that's the point god of because if we look at this footage that we've got uh, and you can see that we're playing the entire clip for our viewers right from the beginning till the end uh, it is inconclusive whether or not uh, this vessel was fired upon or it got caught fire on its own or it exploded on its own nothing like that look at it all we can see is plumes of black flames rising uh from the seas there you can see how uh you know uh, the ship is ravaged with fire this is an entire clip but not once can we ascertain whether or not it was fired upon or it exploded on its own so no actual uh, uh you know effect in that particular reason so it's just a clip which is fairly inconclusive at this point of time it just shows what the pictures came out on the 31st of december god when there were clips of the very very same thing where this boat was witnessed as burning so we really till now even after this footage can't quite ascertain whether or not uh, the ship blew itself up or it was blown up okay let me once again get back to general ashok mehta general that basic point since you've been a soldier you've risen to the rank of a general do can can somebody who's chief of staff order an operation uh, in be in the ops room and order a boat to be blown up does that happen no this uh, simple the simple uh, answer is no this doesn't happen uh, so does that indicate that this dig of coast guard was perhaps boasting or bragging as he said no, in his no, apology no, no. to government what of I, india what today what i what i am telling you uh, gorav is that it's today we are in february uh, on the 24 hours after the incident took place naval of senior naval officers on your channel and other channels were saying that this is something that um that in the the coast guard itself the coast guard by the way just doesn't have 7.62 uh, lmgs on board the the, the uh, coast guard has much uh, stronger explosives and cannons and guns on 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 board okay so this this kind of a fire can be caused by a direct hit 
if not one, at least two, two, two shots. Okay. So as your correspondent is saying, I I am of the opinion from day one. Yes. That this is a monkey. This is a very suspicious uh, incident. Okay. And and that even after this video. Okay. Uh, we should not jump to any conclusion. And and in okay. fact. We should get to the root of this. Oh, absolutely. Um, there should be a full-fledged inquiry and it should be made public. Will that actually happen remains to be seen. For the moment, General Ashok Mehta, many thanks for joining me.